Hi Pile One, welcome to your reading today. This is the last video in my, I don't know, in-between series. <laughs> Before I start filming and releasing my French series, which is cool because I was just in Paris a few weeks ago with my family and it was amazing. So I'm going to have a whole round of videos, four of them. I only recorded four. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have four videos um, coming out for you guys um, soon, which is cool. Um, but for this video, we wanted to know what um, your person has realized in regards to you and this relationship or connection that you guys have. So you guys have picked a few things that I love. You've picked this beautiful cactus. Honestly, I think this is absolutely stunning. All of these guys here, these little like offshoots like these little guys these are all new so when I got it it was only like you know this tall and now it's this tall so I feel like your connection is growing even if it's growing slowly and even if they're a little negligent let's say um, cacti they grow really well when you don't water them a lot infrequently so for this one, I'm actually really happy that it's lasted because, oh, this is so cute, because basically um, succulents don't really do very well in my apartment because it's too dark, but this one has done really well, and I'm actually, what I'm noticing, oh, let's see, how do I show it to you guys? There's this little heart on the back here, this one right there, and that's new too. So there's like love that's new. So maybe you guys have a new connection. Or maybe the love is just springing up between the two of you guys. So I'm going to put it here so you guys can see your cactus during the reading. I also, I love this guy. You guys picked this really cool dragon. This agate I got when I was in Paris last summer in August. So maybe August is an important month for you guys or will be. Um, this is very interesting because I love dragon energy. I feel like that's very empowering and it gives a lot of courage. So I feel like for you, either you or your person have had to gain a lot of courage or maybe dragon spirit will be blessing your person, helping them embrace their own inner fire in regards to you. So we definitely will check and we will see. So I will have your little dragon. I kind of, yeah, there we go. All right. So now I'm going to maybe, maybe I do want him to go somewhere else, actually. I kind of want him to go right towards there. Okay. Then this gives me this playing field to work in. So that's cool. So this is the Thelema Tarot, the tarot deck you've chosen, which I really love. It's a very medieval deck, very beautiful and very fantasy based, which I love. So we're going to see what has your person realized about you? What have they had for epiphany moments in between? Oh, so this fell out, um, you know, in this connection so far. And it's interesting you get the fiery, ferocious dragon because you also got the devil card, which particularly will pertain if you or they are a Capricorn. So it seems like they are discovering things in regards to integrity, in regards to lust in regards to passion in this connection and it's interesting as i was shuffling i did see the back of the deck i get two of cups which is a beautiful romantic relationship card and commitment so it seems like your person has been gaining a lot of kind of very important um understandings in regards to passion and sexuality and in regards to uh, maybe even career and business with the devil uh, their own integrity and how to make good choices and also commitment. So that is very, very cool. Let's see here. So I feel like these are themes. I am gonna keep them. I'm gonna do two more themes and then we're also gonna do a uh, relationship spread to kind of see what's going on in this connection and what have they realized and what might they realize even in the future. So I get the Princess of Pentacles. I won't take it on reverse. This represents like, what can they give you? Um, and also they may have been realizing if they haven't been giving enough or they can only give little bits, they might have to kind of consider or realize what more can they give you or how can they be more giving in this connection? Yeah. And I get the two of pentacles or two of coins. So they also might be feeling like they've had juggle a lot. So they might be juggling finances, career, they might be juggling a lot of responsibilities, and they might be focusing on 
or having to figure out like how do they move things around in order to give to you more. So I feel like your person's aware they haven't been giving to you enough. So I will take, no, I won't. All right, I'm going to do a general spread. But it's interesting with these topics. All right, so this is how you feel and think about them at the moment. But this is going to be what they have realized about you currently, what they've realized about you in the past, and what will they will continue to realize about you in the next three months, and what they might realize about this connection later on down the road. So what you're thinking and feeling about them right now, you're feeling a little heartbroken and you're wondering if they will see your value. You are seeing your own value and you're also looking for a marriage. So the three of swords, it represents, you see how this person is crying and there's like swords that are stabbing through the rose, which is like a heart. So it seems like you're feeling a little sad about this connection at the moment. Uh, maybe you're watching this video because you're wondering if your person has had some realizations that will help them heal your heart or that will help them, you know, give to you more in this connection because that definitely seems like one of the things that they are realizing. The Queen of Pentacles, again, especially if you um, are an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, again, it's like you're prioritizing yourself here on this side, which is great. So your self-care is really strong. You're really focusing on your needs. You're prioritizing yourself. And you're looking at yourself, knowing and acknowledging like you're a really good spouse. You're a really good partner. You're a good, you know, I want to say you're a good girlfriend, you're a good wife because it's a queen. But, you know, like I would say that this represents somebody that's like a very good partnership. So I do like this. And you're so you're very, very aware that you're a catch and that you're a prize. Um, and I get the hierophant, which is a marriage or a relationship that you want. It might be that you guys are in this committed relationship and that you know that you're showing up as a really good partner, but that your person has been showing up so far or has been showing up in a way recently that has been really disappointing you or really hurting you or really sad. Um, you might be wondering about, is this really the right partner for you um, or the right partner for commitment? And, you know, you're looking for something very serious and you might be evaluating if they are somebody that's a match to that. But what they, wow, oh my God, you guys, literally before I even go, look at this. So you here, you're the queen of pentacles, right? On your side, your person, I get the king of pentacles. So they are literally the divine counterpart to you, which is fantastic. So what they are currently in the middle of realizing is that they are realizing that they are your counterpart, that they are your, you know, divine match, which is so beautiful. They also have realized how hurt and sad that you have been because of maybe their behavior or how external circumstances have affected this connection because I get the five of cups. So it seems like you're both um, disappointed with something or you're both sad or your person's realizing how they're disappointing you and how you've been sad. So there is this and I get the six of cups. I feel like they want to make it better. This is a soulmate card. This is a getting back together with your ex card, meaning you if this is you, um, this would be wanting to reunite with you or improve the connection with you or get back together with you. So that's amazing. And realizing that you are like a soulmate to them or realizing they want to work on this connection and strengthen it or get back together with you. So that is fantastic. Um, what they have realized in the past already, like what they've completely realized, this is that they're in the process of realizing it even as of, you know, now that you're watching this video. So I get the Eight of Wands, which is great because this represents that they're aware that they wanted to travel to you or they want to like go in your direction. They wanted to do what it took to be together with you, um, to physically, you know, cross the geography to be with you or drive across town to see you. Or this is basically them physically or geographically doing what it takes to be with you. Also, it seems like they've realized that conversation and communication is extremely important in this connection, all connections, but especially in yours. And they were having some breakthroughs in regards to the communication. 
I get the nine of wands. So they had this awareness or they realized already that there has been some wounded energy in this connection and that they don't want to fight with you and that they want the battles to be over or that they want peace in this connection. The wounded warrior card or nine of wands can represent feeling like they went through a big battle and it could have been that you guys had gotten into a fight and maybe that's what's you know caused you hurt or that they've gone through fights in other relationships or they know that you've been hurt in other relationships and they don't want to bring that into this connection and I get the eight of cups I also feel like maybe they had a realization in the past that they needed to leave you or that they needed to walk away so the eight of cups is a card of like walking away from somebody or from walking to higher ground and walking away from really toxic emotions or really heavy, challenging, overwhelming emotions. So if they were feeling very emotional, the Eight of Cups is that they had the realization that they needed to heal. They needed to heal their heart and they needed to kind of like relieve the burden in them of feeling flooded or triggered emotionally. So it seems like that they definitely had this realization. It may be that you guys had a woundedness in this connection and that they realized they needed to step back for a bit and kind of heal themselves or emotionally self-soothe or calm down a bit so that they could connect because right now they're having this realization that they wanted to reconnect with you or get back together. So if they had to take a time out for a minute and step back to, you know, feel better emotionally, now it seems like they want to come back in with the Six of Cups, and they're having that awareness, which is awesome. Um, in the future, in the next three months, something they're going to be realizing is how important it is for them to take time to self-soothe. And I think that's definitely a good thing. It goes across the board. Everybody can benefit from this advice. So your person is realizing just what they need to do for themselves in order to emotionally self-regulate. So the four of swords, you can see how this person in it is like meditating or calming someone, you know, themselves down or even in deep contemplation about things. So your person is going to realize and, you know, understand in the next three months just how important it is for them to be able to like control their own feelings or to regulate their own selves. So this is good. I also understand too with the seven of swords that your person is realizing that they're needing to be able to be honest with you to not feel like they can just avoid problems and sweep them under the rug so that they feel like they will just go away on their own but that they need to address them so that they don't have to like avoid them or be an avoidant person and sneak away in the middle of the night they also know they have to be honest with you and they need to communicate with you more directly and you know with integrity um I also get the six of coins so they're going to realize in the next three months just how much they need to give more to you so the six of coins card is a card about like generosity and a giving nature so feeling like they need to give more to this connection and really kind of where you're feeling how you know even with the page of pentacles about feeling like that you're not really maybe getting enough or they're not really giving enough so they're going to be realizing maybe that they need to give more or how to give more or they may even have something change in their external life so that they are able to give more so that is great and that's awesome so these are some things they're not going to realize right now but there are some things they're going to realize as time progresses so that's good and then yeah down the road i get the hermit so really kind of like your person is going to go through like a series of lessons because there's a lot that's circulating with the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, really about them going within for wisdom and taking timeouts from you in order to process their feelings. And so that doesn't mean breakup, but it means that they're realizing how much they really need to soothe themselves down. Because if they're always at their maximum, then they're not going to be able to interact with you or have um, solution conversations where they're very productive. So it does seem like your person is going to have a lot of very important realizations. So that's great. Um, all right. Now I want to see... Um, which deck do I want to use? I want to know, okay, I want to know some hidden truth. So I want to know what have they realized? So all right, so what has your person realized 
And we're going to do five cards in regards to this connection. Okay. So what has your person realized? I look for you everywhere. Right. And that really connects to that six of cups cards about how your person is in the process of realizing that they really want to reconnect with you because when they look around for you and realize that you're not there, they definitely want to reunite with you or reconnect. So them realizing like, it's kind of like when somebody wants, somebody really loves somebody or has a lot of strong feelings for someone and they're just always looking around for them and then they stop and they realize their own actions and their own behaviors and they're like wow I am always looking around for this person I'm always looking around for pile one clearly you have a lot more feelings than than you are trying to tell yourself because clearly look at your actions here so it's like your person is very aware that they look around for you everywhere or that they're always like looking to see if you're some somewhere close by or if you're a long distance they're always looking online to see what you're doing or they're checking up on you or they're curious about what you're doing and it seems like they're having a very strong awareness of like oh my gosh I keep checking I'm constantly looking out for pile one what does this mean you know like what is this telling me so they're very aware that they keep looking after you or keep checking up online and what it's making them realize is that they really have feelings for you and that they want to tell you how they feel. And that's really strong and indicated with that Six of Cups card as well. So it does seem like they definitely want to have that conversation with you where they tell you how they feel. And they think that also connects too to like the important communication in this connection and just how much they're really realizing how they really need to, you know, soothe themselves and their feelings and their emotions and then communicate to you what they are feeling or have been feeling so that you guys can get to the bottom of things. So they're also very aware what I love they've had as a realization is they know that they've messed things up. So they're definitely very aware. They definitely have the realization that probably by not telling you how they felt in a timely manner or in a, you know, productive or loving way, it seems like that caused a wedge in this connection or really kind of hurt this connection a lot. And maybe it didn't even need to get to this point or, you know, get here. But it seems like they know that they have messed up, you know, the, the connection by not telling you that. And I replay our conversations over and over. So they're very aware that they're ruminating about things that you have said to each other. And it seems like that's also an indicator for them. So they're also aware that as they're ruminating about things you've said to each other, that, you're, that they're kind of like having a reality check with themselves. And I think that that's really important because I think that your person is realizing now, you know, and, and I love with the dragon, you know, ready to take an action. I always see the dragon energy as like ready to take action on you. So that's amazing. So it seems like as they're replaying these conversations over and over and they're realizing how they messed up things because of things that they've said or not said, that they are feeling like, okay, they're making all these connections between that and like what they need to do about it. And they're very aware that they get very intoxicated around you because it says just being near you is intoxicating. So it seems like they're very aware that when they get around you that they get kind of a little like stupid and they get a little tongue tied and that they get in this kind of like dreamy stupor. And so they're very aware that being around you is very intoxicating for them. So that is good because I like how all those things together show your person that their feelings for you are very real and they're very powerful. So I like that a lot. Now which deck do I want to do? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I feel like, do you feel like at some times you've had to be delicate around your person or walk on eggshells? Because cacti, they're very spiky. And, you know, it's like you don't want to get too close because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to touch it. And so I wonder if you're a person or if you have felt like, okay, I have to be very delicate with this situation. I don't want to get hurt or I don't want to say or do the wrong thing. So I wonder if your person is feeling like a little fragile or feeling like they have to be extra careful about this situation. So very interesting um, because actually you guys are the only pile who have cactus the other ones have well I guess the Hyawarthia is a cactus in a way it's like a succulent so I guess there is um but the third one is 
is a, is a palm tree, a mini palm tree. All right, so we're using messages from Divine Masculine. What else has your person already fully realized? Mm. So your person has realized the signs. So apparently the universe has been communicating to your person and they have become very aware. So that is amazing. Yeah, well, that's just repetitive, but we like confirmation in this in this pile. Okay, so literally this is, you are my queen and I am your king, so let's build our kingdom together. You know how they're very aware that, and this is that they finished realizing this. This is good. Maybe it only took them like the five minutes of this video to realize completely. So, you know, we got you're the queen of pentacles. We got that they are the king of pentacles. So they are very aware that you guys are divine counterparts and how much they want to build their kingdom with you. And they don't really want to be, you know, floundering around in this world without you near them. It seems like that they want to be able to build with you as, you know, a very empowered power couple, which is beautiful. Seeing the signs and synchronicities that are guiding me towards sacred union. So it seems like that they've had this awareness too by really paying attention to like mystical things or to spiritual things or to their own religion and the signs that come with that. Like if they've been praying um, or if they've been receiving re repetitions of things. So that's really cool. Or maybe even things that you've told them that now they're very much recognizing on a spiritual level. So that's cool. I messed up. Please forgive me for what I've done. So again, a lot more confirmation. The cool thing is when you are meant to get a message, you will get repetitive messages for you to believe it <laughs> or for you to be able to, uh, and it doesn't matter even what source you're getting it from. You'll, you'll hear it from multiple sources, which is very cool. So yes. So your person again is, I love this. This is all kind of the same. Um, I know that I'm with a karmic partner. So for some of you out there, your person is aware if they're in a third party that the relationship that they're currently in, it might be bringing them negative karma or they might realize it's not like a long lasting relationship or they might realize that the person that they're with is a karmic partner, but that you're the queen and they're the king and they want to be with you. So they definitely are aware that they're in a relationship that's probably very unfulfilling and they may feel a little stuck. Yeah, I've been keeping my distance to protect you from the karmic. So for those of you in third parties, it seems like that they've been really keeping their distance from you. We did get a lot of cards about like timeouts and walking away and stepping back and like the eight of cups and, you know, so many cards about that. So it does seem like that they've been kind of a little MIA lately. And it seems like that they're trying to protect you from if they are in a relationship, they're trying to protect you from that or from the consequences of that. Um, and it seems like they're trying to protect you and protect your heart. So they're very aware that they've been distancing themselves and that they've probably, you know, been upsetting you with that. Let's see. Now, what have they realized with this deck? Okay. This is the truth deck. I don't want to do all the, I mean, I do want to do that many, but I also want them to not come out as like one clump. <laughs> all right, we'll do this one, we'll do this one. Yes, dragon. Okay, loving this. So they're very aware that the time is now. And the time is, so they're, if they've been waiting for the right timing, again, they've been stepping back. So in regards to this, I feel like your person is very aware that they need to give you answers and they need to talk with you because I get the card of honesty and I get closure needed. So they're very, very aware that they need to give you answers and explanations, especially if they've ghosted you or stepped back. So it does seem like they feel like they definitely need to clear the air or they need to clear it up. So that's cool. Also, I get the numbers 11, 9, and 16, especially November 9th, September 16th. So there is that or November 16th. So it's interesting with this or um, September 11th. 
So yeah, so it's very interesting. They know they need to kind of clear things up with you. Then I get Busy Bee and I get 23, which is February 3rd or the 23rd of the month. So they know they've been like super, super busy and they feel like they might even think that or they're very aware that they have been too much of a workaholic lately or they've been working too much. I get immature emotions. So they may feel like they have been or they, they seem like they have actually the realization that they didn't know how to handle their feelings. So they just poured it all into work. But now what they are coming to the realization of in the and what they've started already is that they're realizing that they need to self-soothe and they need to take care of their own emotions and process them instead of like avoiding them and drowning them at work. So it seems like they've had that realization, which is awesome. And I get asked for help. Again, I get the 2-3, so February 3rd or the 23rd of the month. And so this is interesting because they're very aware that they need to ask for some help, either from you or maybe even from a professional in some way or some friends. Or family members. Also with the immature emotions, I get January 14th or the 14th of a month. Um, I got show more respect. All right, this is the third 23 that's come through. So this is also very interesting. So I'm also getting to that this could be like a six and a nine. So June 9th. So this is very interesting, actually. So three 23s or 23, 23, 23 or 222, 333. So that's amazing. Um, so show more respect. They realize that they need to show you more respect and that they haven't been respecting you as much as they should have, which makes sense if you've been sad and they're aware that you've been sad. So there's that. And yes, checking your social media. They're aware that they've been checking your social media probably too much. <laughs> so they definitely have been doing that. And I get the 13. So January 3rd or the 13th of a month. So I think that's very interesting. So they definitely have been having a ton of realizations about you. And final messages for you guys in regards to your person. I want to see with the Hermit Tarot, final five final realizations, even though your person has been very repetitive and tons of confirmation. But I do want to see a few messages finally as to what they have realized. All right, so it's interesting because I'm getting, I'm too afraid to talk and then I get, yeah, nah. So, and that's the seventh of the month or number seven or July. Because what's interesting is because the dragon is about all about getting courage and really kind of being empowered. And so what's interesting is they may feel like, oh, they're aware that they're like, oh gosh, I've been such a coward. I'm really too afraid to talk to pile one. This is ridiculous. And then they might be going back and forth about it being like, yeah, I really am. And then they might go back into denial and be like, no, I'm not. I'm not, you know, and their bravado might be coming through or their ego being like, I'm not afraid. But then, you know, because they feel ashamed of being afraid. And then they're like, no, no, you really are. Honestly, you would have talked to them already if you weren't such a coward. And then they would think, no, no, that's not true. And then they come up with some excuse or some justification of why they're not talking. Like, oh, you know, I've just had to work or, oh, you know, it's just because of this or that. But really they're realizing that it's because they've just been afraid. Um, something they do realize is that they've been really hopeful and they are hoping that you will wait for them and I get the third or March. So it's interesting because I'm getting that your person really does hope that you will wait for them and they're very aware and they've had the realization that they know that they've been hoping that you would just wait for them. And I get March 7th and then I think so, yes. So yeah, they're more sure that you hope that they, that they hope that you will wait for them then they are sure that they've been too afraid because it seems like they're only like half in that realization that they've been a coward they're more like well i hope that pile one will wait for me anyways in my total distance in my stepping back and then you make me want to do bad things and this they're very sure of there's no doubt about that surrounding this card so they definitely feel like that maybe you tempt them or maybe they feel like their shadow self gets triggered when they're with you or maybe they just feel like very like sexually passionate towards you we did get the devil card so there's definitely a lot of that and this is also january 5th or the 15th of a month 
So it's very interesting, you guys. So your person has had a lot of realizations, a lot of confirmations where they're really noticing kind of like how much they feel for you. And that's really awesome. And I also feel like they've really had a lot of realizations about how they need to talk to you about this. So that is what I have for you. If this didn't resonate, feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if you liked it, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned. I'm coming out with some French videos soon, which are very fun. Um, so you'll see all sorts of pretty France. And I will talk with you guys later. So I'll see you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading today, where we are focusing on what has your person realized about you and about this connection. So you guys have picked a few magical items, which are very cool. So first of all, you've picked this little Pisces fish. This is a very cute little opalite, which I love in different lightings. Like you can see the tail turns orange. So in different light angles, it changes color, which I love. So if you or your person are a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart somewhere, this can be extra confirmation for you. I'm going to put him, yeah, we'll put him here. Um, you also have picked this beautiful Hyawarthia plant or a zebra plant. Um, and I love how it says Paris and it says Maison, which means house. So this is cute and I love how it's like this little jar. So adorable, adorable. So my little Hyawarthia, I love him. He grows with not a lot of water. So you may feel like, especially even in this connection, that you guys haven't maybe gotten a lot of care and attention from your person, but that your person does have a strong connection with you either way. And you might be like waiting kind of for the next serving of love. And you might feel like, well, I've waited this long. What's a little bit more time? You might be also waiting a lot for your person to have some realizations and some epiphanies. You have picked the Mermaid Tarot, which is a very cool deck, especially if you're feeling very summery today, very mermaidy, especially very watery. So there is that. So first I'm going to pick four cards, which are going to be some major themes of what your person has realized. And then I'm going to go into the relationship spread to see more of what your person has realized about this connection. So the first theme, I love it, Two of Cups. It seems like your person has realized a lot about commitment and about relationships. And it seems like they've realized a lot about like what they want as a partner. So that is very cool. Um, I get Queen of Pentacles. It seems like your person is also very much realizing a lot about how important you are to them and your value. So this is amazing and who they might want as like an ultimate life partner because Queen of Pentacles can represent somebody that they want to have a very serious relationship with one day. So they might be realizing that as well. Then I get the High Priestess. So they're also realizing a lot um, from their own psychic intuition. And they might be also realizing a lot of what they want to avoid or what they want to keep secret, but that what is really kind of like talking loudly to them now. So I feel like their higher intuition or different parts of their personality that they want to, you know, hide from. I feel like that's making it known to their person. So kind of like dealing with their shadow self, dealing with evolving as soul, you know, uncomfortable truths that they have to work through in order to become a better person. And I get temperance. Your person's realizing a lot about their life path and where they want to go in life, what they want their life purpose to be and how they want to carry that out and what they want as their destiny. And also they've been realizing or learning a lot about patience. So it seems like they've been having to be more patient lately than they have been normally. So there is that. So signs that show up here, the two of cups, I get Gemini and Cancer Zodiac sign energy, um, queen of coins, Capricorn, Virgo, Lib um, Capricorn, I would say Libra with two of cups as well, Capricorn, Virgo, um, and Taurus, high priestess, Cap um, Pisces and Cancer and temperance, which they all look at as sometimes Cancer as well. So it's very interesting with these Zodiac signs here. So those are kind of some topics that your person um, is thinking about. 
Now we're going to do this relationship spread and we're going to see a little bit. So that's what they've realized or themes. Now this represents how you're thinking and feeling about them currently. This represents what they are currently realizing. So maybe like what they've halfway realized or what they're in the middle of processing. Three cards for the past, what they have already realized in the past. Three cards for what they will most likely realize within the next three months. So they haven't started realizing this yet, but they will. And then a card of longer term down the road. So what they might learn or realize much later. So, okay, so for you, and I'm not gonna do reversals right now. So I get the mat magician. So you've been really trying to manifest your person a lot. So it seems like you've been really trying and really hoping and wishing and praying and, you know, using all your magical fairy dust and everything to manifest this beautiful connection with your person. So it seems like you've been really, really trying. And I get the king of wands. So it seems like you're looking at your person as like very important and maybe even prioritizing your person over your own self or your own needs. Whenever I get the, um, usually the other person on your side, it might be that you're prioritizing them even more than you. And what would it look like if you guys were to prioritize yourselves? Um, would you feel guilty about that? Would you feel like if you were to do that, that you would lose your person or that you wouldn't be able to ever have them? Um, so it seems like it's important for you maybe also to look at what your own needs are and can you meet them or can your person even meet them? Is that realistic? And, you know, looking at that. So I get King of Wands. You might be perceiving your person right now to be um, a little selfish, focused on themselves and their own life. But when they're passionate towards you, they are very passionate and they might be also kind of like looking off in the distance, um, that sort of energy. This also is kind of like a fire sign. So like an Aries, Sagittarius or uh, Leo energy, if your person is that or has a lot of that. And then I get nine of pentacles. So you're also feeling pretty single. So you may not be with your person right now. The nine of pentacles is your kind of, and it's interesting because I feel like on one interpretation of this card, it's like this mermaid is kind of just waiting in this wishing well, where like you might've been wishing for your person and just kind of like waiting for them to come in. Now, normally this would look like this person is even almost like kind of drowning where the water is like up to here, but mermaids, live in the water. So I feel like you're kind of just like peeking over the edge, waiting and hoping your person's going to come back in and, and wondering if they're going to come back. So it's very interesting with the nine of pentacles card and feeling like maybe you're single right now, but kind of just keeping checking, keeping seeing if your person's coming back. Um, now your person now, this is interesting. It seems like your person does look at the two of you guys together and might even, and is in the process of realizing this, and in the process of realizing that they would like to even tell this to you. Because what I'm getting is, first I get the Ace of Swords, and this card usually represents a new beginning, it represents strength and bravery, so they're in the process of realizing that they would like to start a new beginning with you, and they'd like to have this conversation, they'd like to tell you this, but they haven't quite finished realizing it. So it's like just an idea that's starting to come to light. And then I get the King of Cups and the Page of Fire. So I'm getting the like Princess of Wands and I'm getting whenever I get these two cards together, I get this as like a commitment or as a partnership. You can even see in this that it's like these two people are looking in the same direction in life. And it's almost kind of like the yin yang where one's fire, one's water. It's very opposite, but yet united. So it's interesting. Your person sees that you guys have a lot of differences. They definitely see you as like fiery and spicy and they see themselves as emotional and you know, it's, it's interesting. So I feel like your person sees themselves as like emotional and wise and somebody that would be a very good boyfriend or partner or husband or spouse, you know, to this connection or in general. So they view themselves um, confidently in that way. But they also might be having this like silent kind of intensity to them. Um, it's interesting how the King of Cups has this cup in his hand, almost like somebody that drinks a lot or like almost kind of like 
this king of cups isn't like a happy king kind of maybe like a brooding king or like an emotionally kind of you know feeling like love can bring up a lot of intense feelings and that's tricky and they see you obviously very sexy very hot so there is that in and they're realizing this they're starting to realize that they can see themselves as his partner that they can see you um as together with them that they can see your you know your spicy value and all of that um in the past what they have realized is they realize that they have gone through a lot of trauma so i get the five of cups they realize that they've really gone through a lot of pain in life and in this connection and it seems like they're very aware of like that, that they were very heartbroken so there is a lot of like pain and suffering and they're aware that they've needed comfort so there is that and then i get the eight of cups so they're aware that they walked away or that they pushed you away because you can see how she's walking away from him and he's kind of like crying on the sand so it seems like that you know your person is very just very aware of their own emotional pain and it's interesting with the king of cups the five of cups and the eight of cups because all of these cards are kind of like the sad side of the cups or water sign minor arcana so for the king which usually isn't sad but in this case he looks really somber and then i get the eight of wands so your person's very aware that they communicated to you in a way that was pretty explosive because you get where there's a volcano and i feel like they're kind of regretting their words that they spoke from a place of pain and painful abandonment or even were abandoning themselves when they were talking to you so it seems like there was like a fiery fight and that maybe there was words shared or spoken that were painful and your person is realizing that maybe those words were like unnecessary um then i get what they will realize so they haven't started realizing this yet but they will start to realize what makes them really happy in life and i get the sun which is an interesting beautiful contrast from all of this pain and i feel like that's very much like a metaphor to like a phoenix rising where it's very much it's interesting all the water in the pile with the pisces fish that you picked because it's all kind of like your person is having these realizations about their trauma their pain what they need to heal what their emotions are all of that if they have addictive tendencies those pieces and they're having really a lot of strong realizations about those things um later in the next three months they're going to be learning about the happy parts so it's kind of like once they're processing and working through all of the depression part now they're going to be able to focus on like okay well where do i now want to direct my energy where do i want to go with it where do i want to bring it that really brings me the most amount of joy and i get the five of swords they're also going to be discovering in the next three months or realizing when do they have to be on their own and when do they have to cut out people in their life that block them from this happiness and when can they bring in a partner because the five of swords is kind of like in the past maybe they've thought even though they know that they themselves can be a good partner they might have felt like sometimes you just have to go at it alone or they might start to have a realization in the next three months where they're like you know what in order to be happy i have to be alone i have to be by myself but it's interesting where they're going to need to be able to see the integration of these things they're going to need to be able to see how you fit into this picture how do you fit into this sun how do you fit into this relationship with them or do they feel like they just have to be single in order to be happy that relationships just cause too much of this pain so it's going to be interesting to see like where can they go with this as they have these epiphanies um i like the high priestess card that they got at the beginning of the reading so it looks favorable that they're listening to their intuition um and that they're supposed to be processing and realizing this instead of like the fear-based part so hopefully they'll be able to see how can these lifestyles or how can you you know as you're healing the pain how can you go towards the joy and bring pile two with them so hopefully they'll be able to see that or you guys can have conversations about maybe how can you do that 
um, I get the five of wands, which represents kind of like arguing and fighting. So I feel like your person's going to have this realization that when they're arguing and fighting, this might be a tactic to keep themselves alone and isolated. And, you know, with this, I feel like they don't want that. Like, look at the sadness of the people in this card. And then look at the joy from like the sun. They really want this. They want this like happiness here and they don't want to have to be alone so they may feel or realize that like being with people is what brings the joy and that having to be alone by themselves is what brings this like misery out in them and that if they are in this like kind of feisty kind of pushing people away argumentative energy that all that's going to do is kind of like leave them ending up by themselves or ending up with them alone and that's something that they don't want so hopefully they will be able to have that realization. Yeah, and later on down the road, it even shows the star, which is beautiful. That's like the best card in the in the deck because that represents hope. So they're realizing that they can have hope with you because this is a card about or a spread about what do they realize about your connection together. So it seems like in the future, they're going to have hope about your connection together because they've been processing through some things and working through some things. So that is great. So I like that a lot for you guys. It seems like that, you know, they have a long way to go and they have a long road. And out of all the piles, I feel like, well, I've only done this one in pile one, but it seems like with these, that your person is definitely needing to heal a lot more trauma than maybe pile one. And it seems like that they need to, because pile one needs to, is focusing a lot about like, how do they emotionally regulate themselves and how do they gain their wisdom within? Whereas your person is aware that they do gain their wisdom from within, but they're not quite sure how to heal all of their depression or how all of their like very, very sad, sad feelings. And how do they move in the direction of what brings them happiness in life as well as, you know, in love. So that's very interesting. All right, so in regards to hidden truth, what has your person already realized in regards to you? Okay. All right. So I look for you everywhere. So it seems like your person does look around for you. They're very aware that they keep looking for you. They keep checking. They're very aware they look around for you. They're very aware that because they look around for you, what that means is they're, they have feelings for you. And what that means is they just keep like seeking you out. And I get, I replay our conversations over and over. So it seems like they definitely ruminate on things that you guys have said. Now, what that leads to is it leads to that five of wands. They, they have the eight of wands that showed up as well. So it's like they are aware that, that this connection is about needing to have breakthroughs in conversations. And our, their brains attempt to kind of make them look at their own ruminating is their way of trying to figure out a solution of how to communicate better. But I feel like right now they might just be stuck in ruminating over the conversation part without actually having like the epiphany of, oh, this is what you do instead part. At least not yet. Ah, I will wait for a sign from you. So it seems like your person's very aware that they're waiting for you to make the move or communicate with them or to give them the green light or to, to do this. So that's very interesting. And then I get, I feel you even though we are apart. So your person's very aware that they feel you, they might dream about you, they might fantasize about you or like daydream about you. And it seems like that they also feel like they think about you during the day uh, where things remind them of you and they, they definitely have you on their mind a lot. And then I lost myself for a little while. So they're aware. And that's so interesting because I was still getting a lot of like addiction energy with your person with all those cups and with all that like watery, watery energy. So it seems like for them also, they may have a hard time with keeping their own identity when they're in a relationship. And this could be that they were very aware that they lost themselves with you. But I also feel like in addition to that, I feel like your person also feels like this is a pattern of theirs, that they lose themselves in general in their relationships. And so I feel like this is very interesting because I feel like your person thinks that, you know, they kind of evaporated 
in relationships or even in general, especially if like the addictions take over and they're just kind of numbing or they're escaping or running. So it seems like they feel like they've been losing themselves. But I like how with the High Priestess you guys got first that it's like your person is going to be discovering how they can find themselves. And even with the sun that comes up for your person in the future, I feel like that they're going to also, the sun can represent your own self or your own personality. So they're kind of going to be realizing or discovering like how to come back to themselves. And I feel like that that is going to be good because when they have a strong sense of self, then they're not going to be so afraid that they will lose it and they will be able to feel like confident where they can kind of like stand their ground and not be so like excessively protective over themselves that they feel like they're you know missing the beauty of the connection because they're in self-protective mode like all the time or running mode all the time so your person's learning about that now what are some things that your person has already realized in regards to you and in regards to this connection okay so i like this and i feel like one more okay so what's interesting is what i saw is first was this one and ooh, okay so they're very aware that they've been kind of like sending you hopeful signals so it says sending telepathic messages so that you can connect with me in the 5d so they're aware that they haven't been taking a lot of action in this connection lately, but that they have been, you know, sending you messages or, you know, kind of like hoping you would reach out to them or want dreaming about you or that kind of thing. Just keeping things all in like the imagination or in like the spiritual realm instead of in like an action oriented place. Um, then the next card I saw was going to communicate with you very soon. So they're aware that they want to reach out to you. Now I know that for part of them, they're aware that they've been waiting for a sign from you. Now, if you haven't been communicating with them or reaching out to them, then they may also have the realization now that they're like, well, nothing's going to happen unless I do it. So they might be reaching out to you or realize that they're going to do this, or they may have the realization like, okay, some time has passed. Now it's time for me to reach out. It's the right timing of this, you know, that sort of thing. And then I got wallowing in despair and keeping myself stuck. So they're very, and I kind of got that like wallowing energy, that despair kind of wallowing kind of like fog in this, in this pile. So I feel like, yeah, your person's already very aware that they've been really kind of like wallowing in this kind of non-action, but emotional kind of like space, this haze. So they've been aware that they've been keeping themselves stuck. I messed up. Please forgive me for what I've done. So your person does have the realization that they have messed up, which is interesting because this pile, this card came through a lot in pile one, but this is the first time that this card has come up in your pile. So I like that there is some understanding of this. And so there is some kind of like, I want to say at least some ownership of it. I'm not sure if there's really so much accountability to the point where they are going to you know, apologize and ask for forgiveness or like cop to it to you. But I do feel like at least they have the realization that they messed up. So they might try to kind of like make up for it in other ways. And then I got you see right through me like no other. So your person's very aware that you already see the truth about them and this connection. And it seems like they may not always want to be so seen. And so they might be aware that being exposed makes them feel vulnerable and unsafe sometimes. And so it seems like for your person, you they may feel like they always kind of might need to use like tricks and smokes and mirrors and stuff because they definitely are very aware about how like you get them and how you know them. And some people really like to be known and really like to be seen and others they don't, especially if they don't like who they are. So that's very interesting. And let's see. So now I'm going to go to um, the truth deck. I want to see what has your person realized already about this connection. Ooh. Ah. Your person's a very interesting person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
I'm feeling like these are clarifying. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So your person's very interesting. So the first part that came out with this section, and this is also the number nine and the number 18, which is interesting because nine and nine make 18 as well. So September 18th or the 9th uh, or 18th of the month is very interesting. And I got low vibes and exciting news. So first the exciting news came out and I was like, oh, your person has exciting news they wanted to tell you. But because you guys aren't talking for most of you or you're in low contact, they feel like they can't tell you this. And then that made them depressed with the low vibes. So your person really wanted to share the good news with you. And then they felt like they couldn't reach out or they were like, oh, but my person's not talking to me. And that they're in a very, very, very passive energy. The whole like energy of your person has always been very passive um, in this reading. And then I get that this new news has to do with a new exciting career path or something where there's like a breakthrough in regards to their job or in regards to their career. So it seems like they were excited to tell you this or would wanted to share their good news with you. And then they were like, oh, but I can't. And then they had this little like, you know, depression about it. But it's interesting because this is something that they are aware of. So they were aware they wanted to tell you this. They were aware that they felt upset afterwards by not being able to tell you. And so this clarity is important because when your person has this awareness of your importance in their life and they're wanting to share their news with you and how they feel upset when they can't, that's a very good um, sign that they can do something about it, hopefully. So that is good. And then the new career path is um, February 3rd or the 23rd of the month. So that's interesting. So what they had to do as a result was they started checking your social media or they were looking at your social media with January 3rd or the 13th of the month. And what that did was it threw them into memories of you. So that's very interesting. So then they were like, well, what is pile two doing? And then they started having memories of you and getting nostalgic about you. And then they started getting kind of like in that space. And so it's interesting how, you know, that kind of progressed to this direction. Um, also, this is July 13th or the 7th or the 13th of the month. Um, then I get that they were like, okay, well, I need to ask for help in order to be more honest with pile two. But then I get the card, no. So they were like, I know I need to ask for help so I can be more honest. And then they were like, but I'm not going to ask for help. I'm not going to talk to pile two. I'm not going to be more honest. And they were like, well, I know and I'm very aware I need to get help, but I'm not going to do it. And they were also aware that they weren't going to do it. So it's almost kind of like if someone's like, wow, I really need some advice, but I'm also not going to ask for advice. And I'm also not going to do what they tell me to do. So there's a, like a rebellious nature where they rebel even against their own self. So that's very interesting. And the numbers again are the 23rd, so February 3rd, and then 16th, so January 6th, or the 16th of the month, and the 9th. So it's very, very, very interesting here. So your person is kind of like a, rebe a rebel, but a rebel against their own self. I feel like your person almost wants to be like a bad boy for the sake of being a bad boy, or like being a bad girl for the sake of being a bad girl. So it's very interesting dynamics. And then the final messages for you are with the Hermit Tarot. So what has Pile 2's person realized about Pile 2 and their connection? Okay. So, yes, no, yes, no. They're realizing they go back and forth. I just dream and wish for everything. I'm too afraid to talk to you. Think before you act, and they might get caught up in their thoughts, even though I didn't even get a lot of swords card for your person. I got all water. And then you are my everything. So that's very interesting. And I get the 7th, the 8th, and the 10th. So yeah, nah, I feel like this is your person going back and forth, like a Gemini or a Libra, where they're like, I should, but I shouldn't. I should, but I shouldn't. So it seems like they get caught up in their own mind going back and forth and the think before you act is like they might overthink and they might think too much and that's where they never go into action mode because it seems like again it's a very passive pile where they're just like waiting and waiting and kind of waiting for you or waiting for a sign from you or like well pile two is not talking to me so I guess I'm just going to kind of like drink myself over here like kind of like that vibe um I just dream and wish for everything 
So I do feel like your person does have still a lot of fantasies about you and they're very aware that they think about you a lot and that you're always on their mind and that they definitely have these feelings for you. So there is this. And they are afraid that if they were with you that maybe they couldn't get their goals in life with I just dream and wish for everything, meaning like they want everything, but then also you are their everything. So that's also very interesting here. So they just dream and wish for you. So that's interesting. So they're a little afraid to talk to you right now. And they're very aware that they are afraid. And then it's interesting because it's kind of like this yes, no, yes, no, where they're like, oh, I want everything with pile two. No, I don't. And like they go a little bit in like denial back and forth about it. So that's interesting. So that is what I have for you, pile two. I hope this has helped you. If you feel like this isn't your pile, then feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if you feel like that you liked it, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to do that. And I will see you guys in the next reading. I'm coming out with four French videos where I was in France and I did some pick a cards there. So I'm going to be releasing those soon. So I hope you guys like them and I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye guys. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading today where we're focusing on what has your person realized about you and about this connection so far. So you guys have picked a few magical items. First, you guys have picked this really cute tree. It's like a little palm tree. So you guys may be attracted to places that are very tropical or you or they may live in places that are very tropical. Also, you guys have picked this Malachite elephant, which I love. I think he's adorable and very cute. And I like this guy because this is about a person that is very much in their nostalgia and in their memories because an elephant never forgets. So it seems like your person just can't forget you and they might be a little bit confused as to why this is the case, but they also might be having some realizations that this is the case. So your person might be realizing, wow, I really can't get pile three off my mind. What does that mean? So your person's definitely very much realizing that they're stuck in their memories of you. So you guys probably then aren't really talking or, you know, may not be connecting in this way. Yeah, what if we put you here? There we go. All right. So we have this, and then you've also picked this other tarot deck. This is the world, which it gives a different perspective on the tarot. It looks at it from a different angle to give more information, which I think is very helpful for your person when it comes to what are they realizing? Because it seems like one of the things that they're realizing is, or that their realizations are helping them change their perspective. They're starting to look at things in a different way now because of the memories they have about you. And that is shaping kind of their themselves, their life, maybe the future of your connection together. So first I'm going to pick four cards which represent general themes. And then I'm going to do a relationship spread to see what they've been realizing. So four cards. So the first card of what they have been realizing as well as the change in perspective having realized this okay so i get the nine of cups and it's interesting so i'm going to show you this but first i want to channel for it <laughs> so i get that there's a girl eating looking down at two kids playing and she's a kid and she's seeing about okay this is cute these kids are doing it not in secret but doing it from behind the buffet which kind of gave this guy all of the desires so normally the nine of cups is a picture of like a guy eating food with the cups behind him, feeling like all of his needs are satiated, They're, his cups are filled up, he has all of his needs, he's ultimately very happy, he has all of his dreams, they've already come true. And it seems like for your person, they're very much realizing or what they've realized is the dreams that has come true in your person's life has to do with family and has to do with children. And it's interesting because if your person has kids or if you have kids, 
they're very much aware that observing children is something that makes them very, very happy. So your person is a very family oriented person. They're very domestic, they're very nurturing, and that their kids or children mean a lot to your person. And I feel like, again, observing kids, protecting them or um, providing for them or making sure they're always safe and happy and healthy and okay is like one of your person's major dreams. So they're very aware that, that this is a huge priority for your person. And then I get the nine of wands, which is interesting because the different perspective here is, so normally you see the picture of the wounded warrior, the arm is in a sling, there's like a, a bandage around the head, and this is basically means that your person or the person in this card is the only one left standing after a big battle and usually their friends have kind of fallen in battle and they're like the last warrior standing. So it means that there was a big difficult thing that happened, but that it's over now and they can focus on healing and moving on with their life or moving forward. But what's interesting is when you see this, what they've realized about, I want to say maybe your connection being over, um, is they're aware that that is not the only thing that they need to fight because I get this bear here in the foreground. So your person, while they feel like they have been hurt or wounded from the ending of this connection, um, so I do feel like you guys are probably in separation, that your person's aware that while this relationship now is closed or over or broken up, that they have to heal their wounds. So they're aware they need healing emotionally, but they're also aware that in the distance there looms another threat or there looms another thing that they're going to have to fight. So it's kind of like maybe your person thought that if they ended things with you or ending things with you would kind of like end the problem in their life, but they're aware that the problem did not go away with ending this connection, that it's still there. And I feel like one of the things that your person has to fight is that they have to fight themselves. Now, it's interesting because I am getting this information as I am channeling it in the middle of this reading, so I'm not on Google, but you guys might want to Google what the symbolism for bear is because that might be what your person has to fight. What qualities or characteristics do they have to process or work through in themselves that have to do with bear energy? So that is very interesting. Or what do they have to work through in themselves in order to get to become or embrace the benefits of bear energy? But it does seem like that your person is aware that even though they have to heal, that there is still something in the distance that's coming for your person that it's like their problems are not over just because this relationship is over and they're aware of that now. So then I get King of Swords. And this is interesting, especially if your person is an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And it's interesting because you see the back of the King's throne, you see the little baby, you see a sword on the ground, and then you see the subjects coming up to the king to pray or to ask for favor. So it's interesting because usually the king of swords is usually like the stoic person. But look at the baby that's like innocent and naked. And it's interesting because it's like your person is very aware that even if they put on a brave stoic face, that they're so vulnerable really inside. So your person is very aware, especially with the wounded nine of wands with the bandage, that it's like your person is very aware of how fragile that they are. And, you know, this innocent baby could be hurt by the sword at any moment. It could like roll over and like cut itself. It could like a bad guy can come behind this, the throne and like hurt the baby with the sword. Like this baby is very unprotected um, in every way. And so it's like your person feels like they are unprotected, even though they have this big sword here, even though they are the king, which is the most powerful person in the land, even though other people ask this person for help they feel deep down inside very, very vulnerable and very fragile. And even maybe your person even views them, themselves as weak. So it's very interesting, this thing. So your person's very aware that they put on a mask or a brave face, but that they really feel like maybe your person's aware that they have imposter syndrome because they don't feel very strong um, when they look at themselves. And then I get the knave of swords, which I would say this is the prince, actually the valet. They pay. So this would be the Knight of Swords, even though it could be the Princess or the Page. But I would say that this is, yeah, the Knave of Swords in this case is supposed to be the Knight. 
And it's interesting because you see behind the, the knight and the thing that's different in this perspective is what the knight is standing on. And it's interesting because it's like they're standing on this like old man's face, this rock that's an old man there. So it's interesting because it's almost like, you know, like Mount Rushmore or something. So it's almost like your person is standing on wisdom. And this old man would be like father, ancestor, grandfather, wisdom. And so usually the Knight of Swords is looked at as like a brash, impulsive person who comes in and communicates and leaves. So your person may be aware that if they have been impulsively communicating and then leaving, that that's not something that's very wise. And so if they are not talking to you right now, they might be because they're trying to gain wisdom or they might be trying to learn from or gain the wisdom of their ancestors or learn from the mistakes of their own families, like their own dads or grandfathers or, you know, family in this connection. So I feel like your person is trying to learn wisdom. Now, those are just kind of some general themes. Now we're going to look at some specifics. Now, actually, you're the only pile where I put the cards back in the deck. All the other ones, I took them to the side, but we'll see if they're supposed to be in here where they show up. So, okay, I'm going to do three cards for your side. This is how you're thinking and feeling about your person right now. And three cards for what they have been realizing currently, and that this is like something that's in process. So they haven't finished realizing these things, but these are just the beginnings of an idea that your person is starting to realize. Then I get three cards for the past, something they have completely finished realizing. So these are things that they've already really realized, which have led them to this current point in your connection. And then three cards for the future. These are things they have not started realizing yet, but that they will within these next three months of time. They will, and probably by the end of the three months, they'll have finished realizing them. But it seems like this is for the future. And then this card is more for like a longer term future. And again, for this particular pile, these are going to be what your person has realized and how it changes their perspective based on these realizations. So, but you don't get realizations, you just get feelings. <laughs> All right. So it seems like you still feel like highly, highly, highly committed and connected to your person. So first of all, I get the two of cups. It seems like you're looking at your relationship or your connection with your person as like your marriage partner, your ultimate partner, especially with the 10 of wands, which I always look at as like a soulmate contract where you guys have a very, sometimes a heavy burden or a heavy life purpose to, to carry out, or it represents, you know, like a contract, like something that you've agreed to do on a soul level. So you still feel like you and your person are meant to be together on a soul level, or that you still feel like you are still connected and attached to your person on a soul level, maybe no matter what you do. <laughs> and then with the 10 of wands, it's interesting because you do feel like you're willing to put in all the hard work that comes with this connection. And then I get the King of Wands, where it's interesting because it's like you're looking at your person as somebody that is very selfish and yet focusing on themselves right now. But if you look at the back of the throne, it's interesting because the two people are together. So it's almost kind of like you're willing to sacrifice putting your needs to the side temporarily for the good of the outcome of the two of you getting together for real. So that's very interesting. And of course, a strong Leo energy on this pile where you or your person may have strong Leo energy. Also could be a, um, an Aries or a Sagittarius energy strong. And then interesting too, because usually on the Cadus, there is a lion's head with the wings. So that's interesting. And there are two doves flying, which is peace. So you feel like you and your person, even in spite of everything, that there is still a very peaceful connection in this situation here. So it's interesting. So you might be at peace actually with the state of where your relationship is at because you have faith in the bigger picture down the road. So what are they currently realizing or just starting to realize in the process of realizing with you? So I get the strength card again, which is so interesting because you see the lion and you get the lion. So I feel like they're also starting to realize too that they've needed to focus on themselves right now and that if they were to get together with you, that this is the only way that this can happen. So it's interesting because if they're ever going to have this like happy couple up here on the throne, 
that they have to focus on themselves first, even as much as they want you to like heal them and soothe them and tend to their wounds. So because they do. And then it's interesting because of literally this like king that is carved out of this mountain here. So it's almost kind of like they know they need to, you know, be very, very courageous, very empowered, and really kind of climb their mountain and make their mark on the world, even if the snake is about to bite this girl on the foot. So it's kind of like they might even feel like they need to do this, even if it hurts you, or even if they can't protect you. It's kind of like they feel like they need to make that sacrifice if you guys are ever going to be together, even if it hurts you temporarily now or even risks the connection now. So it's very difficult. So your person is kind of realizing this. And then I get the seven of pentacles, which is interesting because it seems like with this, it's usually this guy is looking at his harvest, knowing that with patience that he is going to be able to harvest his reward. But what's interesting is this ghost or this specter that's flying around up here because it's kind of like this person now is realizing that, you know, they're realizing they have to have patience with themselves and with you and where this connection is at and not rush things with this connection, but also very aware that and realizing that somebody could steal their, their harvest if they're not careful. So if they take too long, then it's almost like, and that's so interesting because like if you think of it in terms of gardening, like imagine you have this, you know, fruit tree. If you don't pick the fruit, once it ripens, eventually it's going to rot on the tree and just fall to the ground dead and rotten. So it's kind of like they know they can't wait too long. Otherwise, it's absolutely going to like expire. So it's interesting here. And also, and this is almost kind of like the angel of death needing to like take the fruit away from your person if they take too long. So they're aware that they're taking a long time and that for some of you, they're aware they're taking too long and that this opportunity is going to go away from them. So it's interesting. Even here, the snake would bite the girl's foot. So it's almost kind of like they're aware that actually it's, it's like they know they have to split off on their own to do their own thing, to make their mark in the world, to do what they need to do. And they might lose you in the process. And that's really hurting them. Because I don't feel like they don't want to lose you. Because what's interesting is this card did come up again. So I get that nine of cups again, where they're realizing because their family is very, very important to them and where kids are very important and the welfare and the well-being of kids are important to your person. And, you know, just making sure that you're, you're, you know, that kids are really always in like a safe environment where they can play with no worries and be provided for and, and everything like that. So it's interesting where your person really wants to feel like, or really is already in the process of realizing that like, really taking care of kids is a huge priority for them, either like having the energy to nurture the kids emotionally and or also being the financial provider for kids in that way. Now, in the past, what they've already finished realizing are two of the other themes. So it's interesting. So the, fam the family-oriented vibe, that's something they're just starting to realize now. What they've already finished realizing are the things we just talked about. The King of Swords, where they've already been aware of just how vulnerable they are, and also the wisdom of healing from their family ancestors with the Knight of Swords. So the King and the Knight of Swords energy. They've already been finished being aware of that. Oh, and the Nine of Wands. That's so interesting. So they actually, out of the three themes, the three of them, they've been completed themes. The fourth is that they're really learning about the family values or how important family values are to your person. So that's very, very interesting. Okay, so that one is the only one that's still like left in progress and that they don't quite know yet, but they are realizing. Now, something they have not even started to realize, but they will this next three months is eight of swords. They're going to start to get a different perspective on how trapped they are. Now, this is interesting because you see the other side and you know with the eight of swords card, it's always about somebody having the illusion of being trapped, but that they could free themselves at any time because literally you see the swords do not actually encase the person from behind or the blindfold is um in the front of them. It's usually like left flapping open. So and that they can shake off the ropes. 
So it's really that your person is not really trapped, even though it, they feel like they are. But they're aware that if they keep trapping themselves or staying stuck and not freeing themselves, that I think that these vultures that are coming in up here is they're going to feel like kind of almost, and this sounds a little, I don't know how to soften this. They're kind of like, if I don't like break free from my binds, I'm going to die this way. Like, I don't want to live trapped for the rest of my life and waste my life feeling restricted and trapped. So they're going to have like a, not even like a midlife crisis, but they're going to have an epiphany or realization in the next three months where they're like, I'm literally, if I don't make changes, I am going to be living this way for the rest of my life until the last day. And I will have missed it. I will have missed out on all of it. That kind of thing, especially because this is about your connection. So they're going to realize in the next three months, if they stay trapped and they're not coming forward for you, they're going to be like, I will have missed out on being able to be with pile three. And this is very devastating for your person. And that's going to be, and this fear, it's interesting. Okay, it goes in this order. Um, I get the five of coins where this is the card of feeling like abandoned and out in the cold. And even this is interesting because this is like holding a child and they're realizing their family values of providing for kids and nurturing kids is like the most important thing. And they're going to realize that like their fears of, you know, hurting kids or not being able to provide or nurture for kids are going to be what holds this person back. So it might be that they're having an illusion of, you know, doing something right for their family, but that they might realize that actually that's not really like they're going to change their perspective on that, that doing what they think is right for their family or doing what's right for their kids might not actually be either what's right for their kids or, you know, be what really helps them the most. Or maybe they can still nurture and provide for their kids without depriving themselves of your connection. And so it's interesting in this dynamic here because it seems like what that is going to be, this, these realizations in the next three months are going to be what spurs your person into action to come forward for you and maybe even cross a large distance. So the Knight of Wands is about something spurring your person into action. So overcoming this trapped feeling and overcoming this either a fear of abandonment or fear of hurting children or not being able to live the dreams that they really wanted for their kids, it seems like that's going to be what spurns your person into action to take action on you, which is really interesting with this. And you can even see that it's like they're, this Knight of Wands is having to to make like a lot of inner journey because this is like in Egypt with camels very far away, which is supposed to represent more of a global kind of energy. So it's kind of like your person is realizing that this is a long journey in front of your person. And it's like taking them a lot to get to this point and psychologically. So that is something that your person is going to have to, you know, process and work through. But apparently this long journey is only going to take three months. So yay. Um, and now further on down the road, what they realize is they're going to, which is going to lead them to realize that they have a new opportunity being given to them kind of like by magic, because you can see this like four of cups energy is like a uh, opportunity that they felt like they missed out on or that was rejected is now being handed to them. And they get this Pegasus, this winged horse, which if they felt kind of tied up and at the mercy of these vultures here, now it's kind of like this winged animal is coming in to kind of like save the day and pick up your person. So they're not trapped or like earthbound and grounded anymore. They will be elevated and flying. So this is a very interesting energy. So it's kind of like where these these flying creatures are going to pick off the bones of your person. Now it's like a flying creature is actually going to be like rescuing your person. So I feel like this is great because this is bringing your person to a new opportunity with you. So there will be a new opportunity, most likely given by the divine, where they're going to have an opportunity down the road to be with you again, if this is something that you would like. So that's very interesting. So I feel like you haven't really seen the last of your person, but I do feel like that they are needing to get there and it might take them a while because they're really sorting through what's holding them back. But I feel like that they are making some progress and that's interesting. All right, so now I'm going to go to the Hidden Truth Oracle. So we're going to see a little bit about what has your person realized already? So what is your person aware of? What have they realized along the way? Okay. 
I did it that way because I want to make sure that they're all mixed up. <laughs> Sometimes I lay, I stay awake thinking about you. So your person is aware of just how much they think about you before they go to sleep and how much they can't really sleep because you're on their mind. So they're very aware of where they're like, gosh, I really keep thinking about pile three. I think about pile three like so much that sometimes I can't even fall asleep. But what they think about when they're staying awake is it distresses them thinking that you're, they're not the person for you. So they think that they're not the right person for you, that you deserve someone else or that they need you need to be with somebody better, which is interesting since your person is very aware already that they have like imposter syndrome and that they don't feel good enough for you and that they feel very fragile, that you're that they feel like a little baby or like a little kid when really everybody in the world looks at them and maybe you look at them as a king. So it's interesting. So your person feels like very, very distressed so much so that they can't sleep when they think about that they're not good enough for you or that they're not the one for you or that like if they don't pursue you that they're gonna, you know, never have this chance again or that they're gonna miss out on you for the rest of their life, basically. You were the best thing in my life. So they're aware that you were the best thing, that you gave them ultimate happiness and if you guys were together when you were younger, when you were like in childhood or as kids, that they feel like that was like an idealistic time, like an idealized time. So they feel like that definitely you were like the best thing in their life. I wish I had treated you better. So they're very aware that they didn't treat you very well. And that's hard because they're having to, well, to, they're coming to come to terms with the fact because they've already had this realization that they're like, Pile three was the best thing in my life and I treated them badly. And I know because I knew that I wasn't the right one for them, but that might also have just been my low self-esteem that was telling me this and my fears. And so that really keeps them up at night as well. And they also are very, very aware that they were just trying to hide behind work and money and finances when really that wasn't what made them happy. And you know, that was, you know, there was a motivation, obviously, to be able to be a provider, especially for their family. But that, you know, it also was an escape from, you know, their own self or from their own unhappiness with themselves. Now, what else have they realized about you and about this connection? They're very aware that they yearn for you. So that is amazing. So they're very aware that they yearn for your togetherness. They want to be united to you for with you and that they really want a union with you. So they're very aware that they've been pining for you. They're also very aware that there's that they've been trying to leave a third party situation. So if they're in a relationship, it seems like they're trying to escape a karmic partner. If they have been in a different situation that's karmic, like a job or an other external circumstance that they feel like they'd committed to, but they don't want to be in it, that they are also formulating a plan to try to leave that. Um, feeling nostalgic about our past and wishing we were together again. So they're definitely very aware that they are like in memories with you and they definitely feel like because even that nine of cups where it's like the two kids playing had like a very six of cups vibe. So I do feel like that, yes, they definitely feel like they're yearning for your union. They want to leave everything behind that really traps them from you and that they definitely don't want to waste the opportunity. They don't want to like die with their dreams inside them. Basically, they don't want to feel so trapped. That they never get to be with you again and they wish they were together with you. They are having trouble confronting their shadow side. So they're definitely having a hard time overcoming their fears and anxieties and depressions. So that is very true. So they're very aware that they're like avoidant and that they've been burying it in work instead of dealing with it. But what's interesting too is they are very aware that you inspire them to take action. So they very much are inspired to take action here, which is great because I do feel like that they want to become much more of an action oriented person because who wants to like wallow in your memories and never do anything about it. I feel like your person definitely wants to, you know, change history. Like they want to, I feel like they want to change history. They want to change what had happened between you guys. So definitely that. What has your person already realized?
new career path. So for definitely some of them, they definitely want to change up or have already realized that they want to change their careers, especially if that's interfered with the two of you in some way, or if it's kind of enhanced or contributed to their money fears and worries. So definitely they want to um, have a new career. It seems like they want to change things up at their job. They've also realized that they need to love themselves and they need to prioritize themselves, which we did get because they are needing to, to do that. And as they do that more, especially with that strength card and with the things that they got, it seems like as they do that more, then they're going to overcome that imposter syndrome. So maybe they're feeling like they're telling themselves with the strength card, like you're not fragile. You're not this baby behind the throne. You are not helpless. You have a lot of tools at your disposal, which will lead to them freeing themselves from the Eight of Swords. So that's like a good progression for your person. And I get empathy overload. So it seems like your person's very aware that maybe they've been feeling overly compassionate to either people that can take care of themselves or needing to set boundaries or needing more self-love. And so this is definitely something that can help your person. Also, they're very aware that with you, for whatever reason, they, they feel like maybe you guys are in a temporary setback, but that it won't be like this forever. So I do feel like your person does have some hope when it comes to feeling like that you, this is not a permanent situation in these three. Busy B, yes. So with the new career path, they definitely feel like that they want to um, start a new career. And I feel like they've been realizing that they have to get busy. They have to get right on it. So they're like, if I want this, I'm going to need to take action on this. So that will lead me to that. So I do feel like there is this. With love yourself, I get fear and worry. So it does seem like that, yeah, your person is definitely aware that if they have a lot of worries and fears about not being good enough, the inadequacies, that this loving themselves is definitely very important. So that's going to help you them there. And then the empathy overload matches with love beginning. So also if they had, if they were stuck in their own stuff, and they weren't able to see you with compassion for whatever reason, like if you guys got in a fight or if you were expressing your needs and they were all like, meh, meh, my needs, then it seems like that um, they're definitely wanting to have a new beginning with you and that they have more compassion for you now, more now that they are, you know, realizing that they need to overcome this like, you know, inadequacies so that they can really start a new beginning of having a lot more compassion for you. So one of their epiphanies and realizations may be like, oh my God, yes, this is exactly what I need. Like, if I do this, this will happen and this is better. So, and I get community temporary setback. So it seems like the thing that's been holding them back has really been their community, like their friends and their family have might have been interfering with this connection in a big way. So there is that. Also, I get the 23rd, 16th, 20th, 3rd, 23rd twice, 10th, 16th, and 5th, so, and it's actually 16th twice, so yes, and finally, last epiphanies and realizations your person has already had in regards to you, ha, well, they're very, 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 very aware that they want you, all three piles have gotten, I'm too afraid to talk to you. So I'm not surprised if all three piles are in separation. Um, I get, you are my everything. And then, yeah, nah, with do you care? So they go back and forth being like, oh, pile three does love me. No, no, I don't think they do. Oh, I think they do. Oh, no, I don't think so. And that's where they're like, I want to be with you. I want you but I'm too afraid to talk to you because you're my everything. And if you don't care about me, then that's going to really, really hurt me because I feel fragile. So it's very interesting, this kind of energy with your person. And then I get the eights and I get tens. So it's interesting how they feel like, you know, what would happen if somebody who is their everything breaks their heart and crushes them, they would feel like, oh my God, I'll never be able to recover. And so they need to remind themselves that they aren't that fragile, that they do have inner strength. They can recover. They are going to be okay. So that is what I have for you, pile three. I hope this has helped you. If you feel like this isn't your person, feel free to pick another pile or another video.
And if you liked it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming out with French videos pretty soon where I went to France and recorded some pick of cards. So that'll be cool. Um, look out for those. And until next time, I will see you in the next reading. So I hope you take care. Bye, guys.